Hey guys, Jano Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world that you are in. Okay, uh, we are always trying to improve our little operation that we got going on around here, whether it be for uh, whatever animal, uh, the goats or the rabbits or the chickens. We're always trying to make improvements uh, to make their lives better uh, and have a better quality of life and to make our chores that we do on a daily basis uh, a little bit more quick and easy as far as routine goes. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to try to uh, improve our watering system for our rabbits. Uh, that we These are our mini Rex rabbits that we have out here that we, uh, that we grow and, and raise and sell as pets. Right now we're using the water bottles and they work great. We've been using them for years and years. Um, but that is very time consuming in the morning and in the evening to come around and fill each water bottle and then whenever they start getting a little gunky you try to they try to clean them out through the little narrow hole they work great but as our operation gets bigger and we bring in more rabbits then that's going to mean more bottles and a lot more uh, time consuming work and so on and so forth now don't get me wrong I'm not afraid of work but I'd rather be planting or growing or doing something like that this time of year than spending you know lots of time unscrewing little caps, filling them up, cleaning them out, turning the cap back on. So, and uh, also through the summertime, it's really important that the rabbits, especially the mama rabbits with babies, they've got plenty of, plenty of fresh water. They always drink, and sometimes you'll come out here uh, on a cage in the middle of the afternoon that, uh, you know, if the mama has a lot of bunnies, the water will be completely gone. So we want to try to avoid that. We want them to always be able to get a clean, cool drink of water whenever they want. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what we have. We've got 20 feet of quarter inch uh, tubing, which you can get at any, any uh, hardware store. We've got uh, some plumbing thing here for the, uh, the bucket. This will go on the outside to feed through the tubing to the water. This will go on the inside, and I've just got a little sink screen stuck in the side of it to keep any kind of debris from clogging it up. Got some Teflon tape. We've got these little water... Uh, uh, these are, I, you know, I, I, they're called nipples, but I can't say nipple without giggling like a little kid. <laughs> so they're water uh, dispersing units. Yeah, let's go with that. And we got these on eBay uh, where they come in this little bag here of 24. Uh, so they'll do 24 uh, little spouts. And uh, I think they were like, I don't know, eight bucks, nine bucks, something like that. And then we've got a couple of these T's, uh, these little plastic T's to uh, connect them with the tubing. I've got a drill with a three-quarter inch bit. Yes, I realize it's a wood paddle bit uh, and not a hole saw, but this is what I have, so I'm working with what we got. And a bucket with a lid. I chose a square bucket just so that it's easier to plumb it uh, on a square surface rather than a round surface. So, first step, and I never thought I would purposely ever do this, but I'm going to make a hole in my bucket. <laughs> dear Elijah, dear Elijah, there's a hole in my bucket. So let me drill a hole and uh, start plumbing this and we'll get right back with you here directly. Alrighty, I have made a hole in my bucket and you know, it just dawned on me, if you don't have a square bucket or something like that, you could probably use a, a Rubbermaid container with a lid. Anything that uh, will hold water that has a lid for it uh, would probably work pretty well. Now I'm going to start plumbing the bucket. So I got my Teflon tape here. And I'm going to wrap around the threads of this uh, male coupling. And I'm by no means a plumber or an expert in anything, y'all. This is just what I'm doing. I'm working with what I have here. Uh, this way, this, this entire water system will have maybe, maybe $20 wrapped up in it. So usually whenever I have any kind of big plumbing projects, I call on my brother Greg to come out and help me because he is the man and he knows all kinds of cool stuff like, you know, plumbing and stuff like that. But I'm doing this one here. So now that I've got my Teflon tape on, I'm going to make sure that it's not too, yep. All right, so this part here with the screen is going to go into the bucket. You notice I made my hole a little bit off, the, off of the bottom of the bucket so that uh, it doesn't just collect all the debris. Uh, even though there's going to be a lid on it, there's very probably still going to be some stuff that gets in there. So now we're going to push this through the hole it should be just the same exact size as uh, as this here is three quarters I'll try to get this through the hole 
and of course it's not going to work right because I have the camera on. It's already been done if I didn't have one making a video. So, I'm just going to sit here and twist it through the hole like that. And once I get it all the way through, I will attach this to the, to the inside here. Dang it. And then we'll go from there. So, let me find that piece that just fell underneath the deck. <laughs> and I'll get back with you. This thing of royal pain in the... Ah! Hey guys! Wow, that was really easy. <laughs> Whew, no, it wasn't. Uh, I had to use some tools because the hole, I cut it a little bit smaller. Uh, drilled it a little bit smaller because we want a really tight fit so it doesn't leak. So you're going to probably have to use some channel locks or something like that to get it nice and tight. But you see the inside there? That's where the water is going to drain out into the tube, which we will attach to here. But first things first, uh, we're going to put the lid on the bucket. Set it up in position and start measuring and cutting our tubes and putting all the little other components together. So let me uh, drink some coffee here and uh, we'll get right back with you. Okay guys, you can see here we got our main line running across the top uh, and in front of every cage we put our little T's, uh, these little plastic T's. And then we run a section of line down and I'm going to put it in this one here first. Just put your T in and snug it up the best you can. Uh, to try to help with any kind of leaking that goes on. Now, if the hoses give you a little bit of a fit uh, to try to put these T's into, um, you can always try to warm up the edges a little bit. Uh, that should help loosen them up where they can slide on, or like we did, just simply let it sit out in the sun for a little while, and that'll usually make it, the tubing a little more pliable, easier to work with. Now we've got a T here, so this water, this water here will provide water for this rabbit, and then we're going to add the line onto this bottom part so we can measure it down to come in here to this water uh, supplying device which we're totally not going to call it <laughs> and then we're, yeah and we're going to cut our tubing right here get my handy dandy little old timer give myself a little bit of space just fold your tubing around like that and now we're ready to hook this water up like that so now the main line will come through and the gravity feed will supply this one we we'll run it all down here to this cage where you see we already got it hooked up so uh, I guess the only thing left to do now is to put water in it and see if we uh, see if we've hooked it up right uh, see if I've got any leaks and uh, see if I've done this correctly which anybody who's been watching my channel for any period of time knows that I most certainly probably did not <laughs> So let's put water in the bucket and see what happens. We'll be right back with you. Okay guys, we got water in our bucket and now we're gonna see if we got water coming out, which we do. Hi little dude, you wanna drink the water? So now the rabbits are gonna to have to learn how to do this. It's got some pretty decent pressure. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it coming out of my finger here. So the rabbits are gonna to have to learn, but they will. Uh, we'll come out here and we'll see them kind of nosing for water. We'll give a little bit of a hint that this is what they gotta do. Uh, something else that you want to do too, in order to, to have water running through uh, each line, you'll want to come and push in on each one and you'll be able to see the water come through. That way you get uh, the water all the way down, kind of priming it if you will. And we'll do that to each cage. That way we got water flow to each one and I don't see any leaks so far, which is a good thing. We got water. Yep, there we go. So that worked out all right. Uh, now when it gets really, really crazy hot this summer, what we'll do is uh, we have uh, you know, the frozen water bottles that we put in here for the rabbits to lay against. We'll take one of those, we'll pop the lid on our bucket, and we'll put a uh, water jug, a frozen water jug in here with ice. That'll keep the water cool uh, throughout the summertime. Wintertime, well, I'm not thinking about the wintertime yet for this because uh, it's not that far ahead. We're probably going to have to go back to the bottles in the wintertime, but we'll see what we can figure out. And uh, we'll go from there. For now, we know that the rabbits have got a cool, clean drink of water whenever they want. And the only thing we got to fill up is this bucket every couple of days or every day as they need it. And uh, make sure we keep some ice in it to keep them cool. And we are rocking and or rolling whatever it is you crazy kids are into these days. So, there you go. Uh, right around 20 bucks, somewhere around in there. We've upgraded the water system. I uh, hope this helps. You guys, thank you very much for watching. Y'all have a great day.
God bless. Man. Buzz, buzz, the end.